so we'll have to fight Portugal proper along with England, Castile, and Mallorca. Wait, no, I'm gonna lose. Hi everyone, and welcome to today's video where we're gonna be continuing the A to Z challenge, the challenge where we play every nation in U4 in 1444 with unique national ideas in alphabetical order. And this week, ladies and gentlemen, after going back to season G and season A, we're back with our regularly scheduled programming with the nation of Hamburg. Hamburg is a free city located in the HRE, in one of the most powerful provinces in the HRE. Of course, we start off with this random guy right here that we don't know who he is, and hamburger ideas aren't actually that good. We got plus 10% tax and light ship combat ability as starters. The naval force limit as a finisher is pretty good. We got global trade power plus 15%, Republican tradition, fort defense, national unrest. Idea discount is pretty good along with the production efficiency and interest per annum. And then we have minus 10% ship costs. Starting off as a free city and as a member of the Hanseatic League, along with Lubeck, our boy, and some other boys, we're set in a pretty powerful position and we'll be able to dominate the Lubeck and maybe even English Channel trade notes pretty soon. But what do we do as Hamburg? Well, it's pretty obvious by now, boys. All of your comments say the same thing as Hamburg formed the USA because USA and Hamburger equals funny, right? <laughs> it is kind of funny, actually. So that's why today, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to be jumping in as Hamburg, man, taking exploration expansion, moving our capital to the new world and forming the United States of America and conquering the entire Northeast and Southeast regions. And uh, yeah, as Hamburg, we're going to form the USA because hamburger funny. You know, sometimes I wonder why I even do this. And before we begin, if you enjoy this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And boys, consider subscribing. I'll try to hit 100k subs and maybe with your support, we can do it. Let's jump in as Hamburg. All right, all right, here we are as Hamburg. Like I said, we do start off a part of the Hanseatic League, which means we give Lubeck half our trade power. Kind of lame. We'll be leaving it pretty soon. And uh, because we're a public, we'll be farming, you know, uh, monarch points and stuff like that. So we'll be able to colonize pretty quickly, I'm thinking. But first, let's do some estate stuff and get these boys in order. All right, all right, estate stuff done. Like I said, we are a free city right here. Minus 20% dev discount, plus 10% trade efficiency, deplorations, burger influence. You already know. Of course, we're going to stop being a free city once we start expanding but uh yeah let's not get ourselves too concerned with that and let's concern ourselves with some expansion because we will need to grow right here as well right we can't just stay at one province minor over here uh so uh yeah let me start off by spying on death martian maybe and uh Verden, because we pretty much already have alliances right we're allied with lubeck and we're secured defensively by these guys and austria will also defend us because we're a free city and uh yeah let's take a look at our navy right here three transports we won't really be needing those guys actually we will to take our boys to the new world so let's keep them around and let's tell these eight light ships to protect trade and lubeck and go home during war for now or we're making money right at the start we're not we're not really making money so that's kind of sucky horse limit is seven classic bye bye horse take a dive and let's get three more infantry regiments right here. Who's our rivals? Brandenburg, East Frisia, and some other dude, Saxe Lauenburg. Uh, let's put Death Martian right there, Verden right there as well. And who else might we expand into? Luneburg, maybe. Yeah seems about right we spawned with a 455 guy so that's really good this burgermeister right here he's 41 2 and he's a charismatic negotiator so that's awesome should we ally bremen i mean they're already in our trade league so why not now that things have refreshed we actually are making money and i'm gonna go balls out here and uh get three advisors right at the start and boom just like that we're eligible for the 200 diplo and admin event as well bremen have allied burgundy not that googie uh, yeah, we're good with this, though. <laughs> Dog, I said we're eligible for radical reforms. It was like a few days after I got the advisors, man. I love this game sometimes, dog. Just kidding. I love it all times. Get out of here, both of you. But of course, I want you to come back. Ah, oh, that's an awesome start, man. That's an awesome start, dude. This is going to be a good game. I can feel it, boys. Now, since Lubeck got updated in Lines of the North with a new mission tree, I think all the other Hansa guys got Lubeck's old mission tree that they got in Emperor. And uh, yeah, now that we have this mission, yeah, we definitely have Lubeck's old mission tree. Too bad we won't be utilizing it too much because we won't be doing uh, Hanseatic stuff. But uh, yeah. And I think this is the earliest I've probably ever taken tech in EU4, man. 1447, I'm already eligible for Diplotech 4. Wow seven and a half years ahead of time dog got tech four in all categories and i'm actually gonna wait for the renaissance to spawn so we can dev it up before we fight anyone because i don't want to lose this minus 20 percent dev discount uh you know so we can spawn the renaissance quicker and get hamburg up to 30 dev this is a very nice event for the hansa guys right here we lose 100 diplo but we gain minus one national unrest plus five percent global trade power plus 10 percent manpower and plus 25 percent lane force limit until the end of the game 
so always worth it. And the Renaissance just spawned. Oh, and we can take our tier two government reform. And I'm going to go for Republicanism here, just like that. And now we can activate Encourage Dev right here and uh, bump our capital up to 30 Dev and help speed up the spawning of the Renaissance. All right, all right. And we're ready to go here. Let's declare on Death Martian, call in uh, Lubeck. We should be able to deal with these three guys, the two of us. Brunswick wouldn't come in because I don't know. Bremen wouldn't come in because I don't know. So let's just go ahead and take care of Death Martian right here. And I don't know what else you want me to say except for E. Easy war. Let's peace out Verdun right here, humiliate them and make them end their alliance with Burgundy, just like that. And now let me bump up Hamburg to 30 so we don't lose that dev discount. And now I can annex Death Martian. Easy. And just like that, we're no longer a free city. I think we became an oligarchy. That's right. Kind of lame. Plutocracy is much better for us, I guess. But uh, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? And yes, I don't lower war exhaustion before coring. Fight me. I have achieved renaissance only as like the fourth nation in the world. Let's embrace that. Let's tech up. Mmm, so good. Admin tech five, first idea group, exploration time. Yes. Now we can also continue our expansion. Okay, boys, let's go ahead and hit Luneburg right here. Uh, they're allied to three guys, but all of my boys would join in as well. So this should be fairly easy. Let's go ahead and fight them. And it's tier three gov reform time. I'm actually going to go with consolidation of power here for uh, mainly to reduce the estate influence by 10 on every re-election. Another easy war for the almighty nation of Hamburg. This is now mine. Goodbye. Now I already unlocked quest for the new world right here. So let's get three light ships out of here. Take these guys and give them an explorer and tell them to explore the North Atlantic coast. Why does Denmark want to interfere in everything I do? They've allied these three guys, man. All three guys that I want to fight, dog. Sweden, come on, buddy. You got to declare, man. You're supported by England, Scotland, and Muscovy. Like, just go for it. Maybe then I can fight Denmark. All right, I've created some more favors with some new boys as well. And I'm actually going to go ahead and hit Mecklenburg right here. Even though they're like the Brandenburg and the Teutons, I literally don't care about the two nations that could form Prussia the best. So, uh... Let's go ahead and deal with them, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Burgundy chose East Frisia, dude. <laughs> Apparently, East Frisia is now a great power. <laughs> and exploring is going great so far since I got the third idea from exploration. Awesome, man. This war is over. Unfortunately, Wolgas did occupy New Brandenburg here, but oh well. You can't have it all, I guess. I'm kind of locked in with alliance networks now. Can't really do much here. We're just focusing on colonization until like, I find the right nation to declare on. Freaking Denmark, man. We've actually accomplished our first mission accidentally. Apparently, we defended the city. Oh, and we did this too, apparently. Uh, did I get anything? I guess I got some claims, huh? Let's go with uh, curtail clerical privileges. Finally, Diplotech 7, which means we can explore some more. And let me take a look at my colonial range, man. Can we re- <gasps> Yes, we can reach stuff. Uh, okay, what I actually want to do here first is uh, move my capital to Bermuda and uh, then colonize stuff up here. But we will have a bunch of colonists already. And uh, yeah, let's go somewhere in Africa for now, I think. Yeah, like right there. Of course, I am going to go uh, expansion as well. Really? You know, Austria loves taking random provinces in 134. Uh, I they they prevented me from going this way. Alrighty then. Well, Sweden broke free from Denmark. If only we had Comet Sense. Colonization looking good, boys. We're colonizing Arguin right here. And I've also established a colony in North America as well. We're colonizing down here, just like I said, so we can move our capital to South Georgia so we can then move it to North America. And we're colonizing up here, well, just to get colonial range, we can colonize over here. Looking good. Things are pretty quiet right now in Europe. I'm locked between alliances, not powerful enough to fight any of the guys I want to fight because they're still linked up with Denmark. So we're chilling here, making a little bit of cash, or I guess I'm losing cash, but now we're good. And I guess Lubeck was brave enough to declare, but not me. <laughs> All right. So Lubeck just declared war and fricked off and died. Uh, <laughs> look at this, dude. Why would you do this? Is this guy like, um, what is he called? He is a militarist, but he's not like that stupid trait where he un underestimates uh, his enemies. Lubeck, you absolute idiot. What did you get us into, man? All right, I got out of that dumb war where Lubeck apparently doesn't even exist anymore by offering to uh, break my lance with Lubeck and giving Denmark war reps. I think, where is it? Yeah, Saxe Lauenburg, I mean, so I'm out of that. And colonization is going well. I'm in South America right now, then I'll jump to South Georgia, and we're also in Manhattan. What's Austria doing? <laughs> What's this? Got our third colonist. Let's tell him to go to America as well. North America, I mean. You know, our colonization game is pretty good for being so far away, man. Uh, not even Portugal or Castile are in the New World yet, I don't think. Well, here they are, but, you know, 
Still, I'm better. I'm actually gonna go with the golf cap here. We're gonna need it when we're the US. And now we're colonizing South Georgia. Pretty soon, we're gonna move our capital there. I can say Hungary is stronger in 134. Hey, I didn't notice we have a unique naval doctrine. Hanseatic doctrine, plus 25% ship trade power, plus 75 navy tradition from protecting trade. That's pretty good, actually. Too bad I'm not gonna use it because I am gonna use a uh, chance to capture enemy ships. All right, I got South Georgia. Let's figure out how to move our capital there. I guess first we need to leave the HRE, so let's go ahead and do that, just like that. Now, I guess we need to state it up, so let's do that. And now we can move our capital there. All right, now our capital is in the New World, and us having our capital in South Georgia should enable us to be able to move our capital to North America in Manhattan. So let's state up New York, and I need 305 all right, I'll wait for that. We should be good after that. Uh, let's hope I can move my capital before these are finished building because a uh, colonial nation will pop up or it won't because I'm already in South Georgia. I don't know how this works, boys. I don't even know how to play the game. What do you guys watch? <laughs> and there we go. I have enough points. Let's move our capital to Manhattan. Ah, all right. Now we're a North American nation and we should be able to form the US. Yes, we can. There we go. Uh, 10 provinces and admin tech 10. All right, this is where gameplay starts, baby. Let's get it. All right, I'm amassing a grand army of the Republic and it's also time to uh, force spawn colonialism right here before I'm gonna actually flip Protestant, I think. And there we go. Good thing I have a ton of points to pour into Manhattan here. And there we go. We've got colonialism pretty much. All right, I just started my first New World War. It was on accident, but I was gonna do it anyway. But uh, yeah, here we go. New World seems all right, by the way. No massive federations and stuff like that, so that's good. Let's move on Iroquois here. Supposedly, they're big boys who... Oh, <laughs> oh wait. Maybe we won't move on Iroquois just yet. Let's take these small guys. All right, we're done with these guys. Uh, these guys just formed a federation. That's pretty cool. I think they're the only one, though. Or no, Huron is actually a formable nation. It's not a federation, right? I don't know, not sure. All right, I've finally gotten colonialism, so now we can flip to Protestant. It's only correct, right? Uh -huh. New World Center of Reformation, anyone? Guess not, huh? Yeah, they already have them. All right, I am gonna take Admin Tech super ahead of time just so we can form the US. Boom, there we go, and there's the decision. Uh, let me take these Protestant things. Of course, I could form Florida. It would be funnier, but hey maybe another time and we are gonna take new traditions and ambitions we got some missions right here that we can take that's awesome please lord let me get claims on this stuff i can't be bothered to spy on all the natives yes that's what i'm talking about baby all right let me get some gut reforms and then we'll really start blowing up we're still an oligarchy that's pretty funny i feel like but we should definitely swap to american republic you know for the role play and stuff like that right and i'm gonna go with the presidential system here Five colonists now. Sure, we are going to be losing a lot of money, but hey, you know, expansion is expansion, boys. What do you want me to do? Let's go for quantity here. So now these Huron boys don't actually have any allies. They, they do have 51k though, so I do need to buff up. We just have the burgers as the US? What? But there we go, man. Uh, primary goal accomplished. I mean, primary goal. Uh, part of our goal is accomplished. We are the US. Now we just need to take over the entirety of the Northeast and Southeast. And we'll be good. Yes. Hamburg is still alive. I set these guys up good, huh? All right, just to clear on these guys. Uh, let's see right here. Who are we fighting? Okay, let's piece these guys out. And these guys. And this is the war pretty much done. Man, settler increase is kind of nutty. 150 a year? Let's steal some maps from Huron of the Northeast. Nice. Let's steal maps of the Southeast as well. Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? There we go. Southeast. Boom, just like that. All right, now we can see everything we need to conquer. Pretty good. Pretty good. <gasps> no. It seems that I have taken a province that is not in one of those regions. But I don't really care. But yeah, man, 1521, this is what we're looking like right now. This is the United States. This is our nation. All five colonists are active, colonizing various provinces. I'm mostly trying to get the coastline right now, you know, so no other guys pop in. So I won't have to fight any of the major nations and stuff like that. Although I do think we could defeat those guys very easily too. We'll just wait for them to naval invade and uh, we'll try and stop them. Money situation is good right now. We are making money. I have been building a couple of buildings here and there, but I am trying to save some money for maybe some more valuable buildings and stuff like that and uh yeah man we're just dealing with the small guys right now we'll deal with the bigger guys later right now we are making two ducats a month so i can't really buff up my army that much you know i can't feel the huge army but you know things are decent man things are decent nice relaxing new world gameplay and uh, a lot of people have been asking about what's going on in the new world in the latest update are the natives still crazy and uh to me it looks like 
it's all pretty good, man. You'll have most of them as tribes still, maybe one federation here and there, and maybe one or two formable nations, based on what I'm seeing right now, of course. All right, just to clear on these uh, three small guys right here, two of which we need to conquer. And this war is easy, and it's done. Finally, Florida. All right, let's get involved in the south a bit by declaring on these uh, guys that have a wonderful color, Ultamaha. Yes, yes, that is the nation we're gonna fight. And let's just go ahead and basically full annex them. All of these wars are so easy. I love being an overpowered nation like this. Uh, it's just it's just nice, relaxing gameplay to, you know, switch it up a bit from all the pain we've been experiencing. Oh, that pain. Poland's been blowing up a lot in this patch, I feel like. Two Sicilies, looking good as ever. They're here pretty much every game. Ah, uh, yes. Riveting colonization. I love it. Florida is mine. All right, well, we pretty much got the coast on lock now. No colonizers should be able to enter, you know, the regions we want to conquer. Ooh, great pro The White House in Piscat away. Where is that? Where is that? Right there. All right, let's, say, let's just say it Washington. Come on. What? Washington. D C D C I guess. All right. What does the White House do at tier one? Reform progress go three election costs, state governing costs. Kind of lame. <laughs> I won't build it. What I am gonna build though is a bunch of workshops in T and Fur provinces. We did kickstart the fur trade, so we're good with that. And we can even stay it up East Florida and Florida. I keep forgetting a state's gonna have more than four privileges now. I, I haven't taken debt to the burgers in uh, 84 years, but now we can buff up our army a bit too. Let's go 14-4, something like that. I feel like it's good enough to beat up, you know, the natives and stuff. Tier 7 gov reform time. I'm gonna embrace the economic theory. Let's just take care of these guys right here. Let's piece these boys out. War score cost versus other religions should help us here, although we don't really need it. Pequot is mine as well. And the war with these fellers is done as well. Nice conquest, moving along, chugging along, you know what it is. Let's finally go and take care of pesky little Huron here. Yes, goodbye, time to leave. All right, let's kick these guys out because we need this province as well, obviously. Sometimes, man, sometimes you don't want to do difficult wars, you know, independence wars, one province miners versus France. Sometimes you just want to curb stomp everyone like I'm doing this campaign. And this is everything that I need from Huron. Let's just make sure. Yep, that's it. That's all the provinces I need. Sweet. And I think we're done with colonization. Yeah, we pretty much are done. We just need to take care of this purple guy up here. Uh, let's see. Yeah, some of these guys right here. And then we'll actually have to fight Portugal because, uh, well, they can't add this to a colonial nation, I don't think. It's in a different colonial region. So we'll have to fight Portugal proper along with England, Castile, and Mallorca. Wait, no, I'm gonna lose. All right, well, let's deal with the stragglers. And two more guys are out. Awesome. At this point, apparently, we have defended liberty. So many rebels. Let's go crush them all. All right, let's engage in some warfare with these boys. Bye bye. Bye bye to you too. And now everyone wants what they can't have. Luckily, I can have what I want, which is these provinces. And we have some great news, ladies and gentlemen, because a colonial nation has formed over here, the nation of New Portugal, which means I can fight them and crush them immediately without Portugal and all of their boys getting involved. I wouldn't want to have to fight this war, so that's great. Let's go ahead and declare on the final native nation that we need to wipe out before dealing with New Portugal. And that's the way the cookie crumbles. And I actually got a disaster, the religious civil disorder. Let's go for a tolerant society here. All right, but now that we're done with all the natives, man, and uh, yeah, obviously by looking at this map, you can tell that the only provinces I need are these two down here. I do have this extra one right here, so that uh, looks a little extra, and I have been building border forts. I think I will continue to do so. We will need to get our manpower back up. I can slack on ones. Slacken has been nerfed a little bit, I think, so yeah. I'm actually gonna roll for two more generals right here, so I can slack on one more time. Those are actually really good. Uh, they have the same name already then. Well, let's put them in charge of uh maybe they're twins wait that's not how that works yeah but army tradition is insane man <laughs> due to all the battles i've been having and this mission that gave me 50 army tradition so we're good let's deal with some of these guys by provoking revolts and ladies and gentlemen it seems that it is time for our final war and to take the final two provinces that we need in order to accomplish our goal so let's go ahead and declare on new portugal for the conquest of Appalachia. Yes, this should be super, super easy. This is how big they are. We'll just do this right here and that right there. And then we'll send this guy there, that guy there, and that guy there. We should be able to crush them before Portugal wants to enforce peace or anything like that. And that's it. <laughs> you guys can, uh, you know, scroll back five seconds to see when I declared the war. It's only been like three months or something like that. 
But listen, I'm generous, I'm humble. In fact, I'm the most humble, like I always say. There's no one more humble than me. So that's why I'm just gonna take these two provinces right here. That's all I want. New Portugal, you can stay alive. You can stay alive and hang out with Creek and Portuguese Louisiana. But now, with the conquest of the final two provinces, we have accomplished our goal of forming the United States as hamburger and owning the entirety of the Northeast and Southeast regions because funny. New mission was this? Hey, I conquered Florida. But yeah, there you go, man. We started off as the nation of Hamburg, which obviously still exists because we abandoned all our old world stuff and stuff like that. This is Hamburg right here, man. You know, we did a little conquesting as them. I would have conquered a lot more over in Europe. Look at this, Austria. Just, just look at it. I would have done a lot more conquering in Europe, but Denmark got involved with pretty much every nation that I wanted to fight. So that got thrown out the window real quick. Luckily, we did have insane Marquin generation because we're a republic. We were able to tech up super, super early, colonize super, super early, and and yeah, once we moved our capital to Sud Georgian, which apparently is still called that, even though I'm the US, then we were able to move our capital to Manhattan and fight all of the guys up here. And no, by the way, I don't need to fight these guys. They're in uh, the Mississippi region. And once we moved our capital over to Manhattan, we were able to start conquering these native guys up here, colonizing super quickly, man. We had about 150 global settler increase per year five colonists now four because you know the fifth one was from parliament and we were able to colonize the coast and inland super super quickly and fight all of the colonial nations luckily we didn't have to fight an actual colonizer luckily it was all native nations and this one colonial nation as you know is that hamburg no it's the huron confederacy apparently Alrighty then i did manage to convert most of my land to protestant we are making good money right now some loans need to be paid off and uh yeah man fort maintenance is 15 that's because I built a 7 trillion forts, but without those forts, you know, we're making real nice money and we can go on to do US stuff. But overall, man, a super, super fun campaign, pretty laid back. It was very fun for me, even though it wasn't too tryhardy, but it's a nice change of pace from all the difficult campaigns that we've had to endure so far. And you know, boys, every once in a while, everyone needs a little break like this where you just chill out and everything goes according to plan. But... Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to say that this campaign as Hamburg in A to Z has been a success. And that has been Hamburg in A to Z. Let me know in the comments below what I should do with this nation next week. If you want to watch me do stuff like this live, you can follow me on twitch.tv slash Live. And if you want to catch up on stuff from over there, you can subscribe to the second channel. Link is in the description. If you enjoyed this video, don't hesitate to leave a like. It really helps out a lot. And if you want to see more challenges like this or more EU4 videos in general, definitely hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on anything. And you can become a member today and join the Discord. The link is in the description. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time with another EU4 video.